Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back, focusing more on our lats, a bit of mid trapezium work. So straight away I am going to start my workout with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side, making sure I unlock my upper back mobility and also a little bit of hip, quad, hamstring, calves, all of them, all the mobility. So I'm going to speed up the video, not take much of your time. You can fast forward this part actually because I am pretty sure by now you have already learned how to do this particular exercise or stretch. You can do this. I have mentioned this multiple number of times and I'll keep mention it, mentioning it. You can do this as soon as you wake up, before you're going to bed. Great stretch to ensure you regain the mobility of your body. After this, we are going to do our regular deep squat hold. As usual, hinge by pushing your glutes as far behind as possible. Feel the hamstring stretch. Once they are completely at a stretch, squat down into a deep squat. Sit there for a few seconds. Move on to your ankles. Unlock their mobility and slowly get up. We are done with this. So next, I'm going to do a... Uh, back focus stretch before we start in uh, moving into our warm-up and our working sets here i have done this particular stretch in my previous videos also wherein i have just rotated backside today i am just pushing my hand a little bit down to create extra bit of contraction and stretch contraction happens on the side where we are i'm pushing down and stretch happens on this side on the opposite side Again, five repetitions on each side. Simple exercise. Make sure you hold a weight or a foam roller in between your legs to keep your hips locked in while you move by your thoracic spine or rotate the thoracic spine. For my first exercise, I am going to do single arm lat pull downs. So I have this particular equipment where I can do lat pull downs. So I have chose to sit sideways on this equipment and pull the... Uh, bar towards my hips basically my elbows to my hips getting a great amount of contraction in my lats now i've done the first set with a very uh i would say a bit easier weight considering it as a warm-up activating my lats you can do the same in my next three sets i shot up my weight a little bit made it more challenging so in the first set i was just trying to figure out my right location trying to get as much squeeze as possible one thing which i want to mention about this particular exercise is that you might happen to feel a lot of bicep activation which is expected because the way my arm moves as i try to get the elbow close to my hips my biceps contract due to the natural range of motion so your biceps will get activated at the lower end of the motion that said your lat contraction particularly your upper lat and the lat uh, origin and insert points experience a maximum amount of contraction due to the range of motion we are getting here. As you can see the amount of stretch I am able to get by sitting on my side and I, as I pull or try to get my elbows towards my hips, my lats are completely contracted. This is something new which I have done for the first time in this video is wherein I got an uh, anatomical view of how the muscle works while we are doing this particular exercise so here we go if you can see how the human lat muscle contracts and stretches as the elbow moves away and near towards the hips so i hope this gives you a bit better understanding of what's happening inside my entire focus was getting that extra bit of stretch as i move up and as I come down towards my hips, try to get as much contraction as possible. The cue here is to get your elbow towards your hips. Again, you might get a lot of bicep activation. By lot, I'm not exaggerating, just fair bit of it. You, your biceps might get pumped a little bit. But that's absolutely fine because the lat is getting a large amount of contraction while doing this exercise. Now, if you don't have this particular equipment, you can do this on a normal, regular lat pull-down machine also by just strapping a uh, single arm attachment to it. 
I hope all the angles which I experimented with uh, did justice so that you understand this particular movement a lot better. Whenever you are starting off with exercise, try to uh, place yourself the seat height as low as possible so that at the end point there is a maximum stretch happening in your lat muscle and when you crunch you get that extra bit of crunch in your lat so again a lot of activation my lats felt great after this particular exercise I had a little bit of oblique action also but i was just trying to figure out the right way to do it and it worked good for me for my next exercise i am going to do single arm rows here i am using the chest supported row equipment which i already have instead of sitting down and taking the support of the chest i decided to do it single arm without the support of the chest and get an extra bit of stretch while letting the weight going down by rotating my body as you can see as i rotate my body my lat happens to stretch a lot more and then as i bring the weight towards me i again rotate to get extra bit of contraction do try this it felt amazing for me i have done three sets of it 12 repetitions with just 45 seconds break in between as we are going one arm at a time make sure you rotate along with the weight as it goes down you go with the weight let your arms go with the weight and create that extra bit of stretch in your lats as you come back you turn and try to get as straight as possible giving that extra bit of contraction to your lats again an excellent exercise to activate that lower lat region and also a great amount of work being done by my mid trapezium and my lower trapezium to make this contraction happen so here you can see from behind how my body rotates with every repetition we are not sitting stable we are adding that extra bit of stretch and contraction to the movement make sure you take a weight which is challenging enough to pull uh, the bicep activation is not as much as it was in the single arm lat pull downs but you might still feel a bit of bicep activation because they are uh, they are already worked up they are already pretty worked up so you would feel them working if your arms get tired feel free to use straps or gloves to avoid grip strength uh, you know hampering your number of repetitions you can achieve Again, my sole focus was to get my lat stretched as much as possible before going into an aggressive contraction. The rotation of my body really helped that moment. For my next exercise, I am going to go for my donkey calf races. Two sets, 25 repetitions is what is targeted. If you can do, do more repetitions, maybe go up to 30. But 25 is where I usually fail. Again here, I have added this anatomical view of how the muscle works as we do this exercise. You can see how as my heels drop down, my muscle stretches. And as my heels raise up, the muscle contracts. So... Our calves are working really hard in this particular exercise. Two sets, 25 to 30 reps with 45 seconds break in between. The best part is you don't have to take a break before this before starting this exercise and after finishing this exercise because this is a different muscle altogether. So you can just finish one exercise, move to this. Then after this, you can straight away jump into the next exercise. Not you don't need to take much of a break in between unless until you are a little bit out of breath and you want to have a sip of water. So that's it for our donkey calf races. For my next exercise, I'm going to do two sets, 12 repetitions of inclined pull-ups. This is a great exercise to strengthen your trapezium and your rhomboid muscle, uh, muscles. I have done 12 repetitions. I tried to get my chest as close as possible, even tap a couple of times. 
but that was the most amount of distance I was getting. There was still a, gamont, a good amount of gap left in between. Now, if you feel that this particular exercise is a little bit tough, you can, you know, bend your knees and try that way so that you can reduce the body weight which you have to pull a little bit. For my last lat base exercise, I am going to do the lat pullovers. This one we have been doing in our previous videos also. I love this exercise. It gives me a lot of lat activation in terms of the stretch. Again, here is the anatomical view of what's happening inside the muscle. As our elbows move away from the body, my lat stretches. As I try to bring my elbows towards my body by pulling it over, my lat gets a maximum amount of contraction. Every exercise I try to choose as anatomically appropriate as possible to get the maximum amount of it. Sometimes it's the best, sometimes it's not the very best but it still does the job but this is one of the ones which are I believe to be a great uh, lat exercise. Every exercise, uh, every exercise has a caveat because it's very difficult to isolate one particular muscle when you're doing an exercise which uh, demands a lot of effort. Multiple muscles try to jump in, like in this particular exercise, you might feel a little bit trap activation, a little bit of uh, tricep activation, but that's absolutely fine. So a clear, distinct isolation is a bit of challenge to achieve, but what you can do, you and I can do is to try to get as close as possible to get that muscle isolated during an exercise. And that's it. We are done with our three sets, 12 repetitions. Actually, I have, uh, I was not able to achieve the number of repetitions I want for my last set. So what I've done is I've dropped the weight a little bit and completed my reps. So you can do the same. If you're unable to complete the reps, you can always use the rest pause technique or dropping the weight down a little bit to complete the number of repetitions. Try to get all your 12 repetitions in. Make sure the reps are as hard as possible. For my next exercise, I'm going to do the core work wherein I'm going to do the oblique twists. Here my core muscles are working, basically my oblique muscles. Again, here is the anatomical video how my oblique muscles work as I rotate onto each side doing the job in terms of stretching and contracting I'm going to speed up this video a little bit because it's pretty much self-explanatory just make sure you take a straight uh, pipe or a bar which is not very heavy uh, as light as good because then you can move freely without being tired carrying an extremely heavy bar or a pipe i'm doing with with a pvc pipe just to make sure my back remains straight, my upper back remains straight. I try to keep my hips as straight as possible while doing this particular exercise. And that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I'm finishing off with my static stretches. Each side, 20 seconds hold, simple lat stretches. I hope you like this video. I hope the new uh, anatomical video glimpses are a bit more helpful in terms of understanding how our muscles work. I'll try to incorporate those a lot more. If you did like that, please do drop a like. If you have any kind of feedback, I would appreciate your comments. And you subscribe to, uh, subscribing to my channel is a lot of positive feedback for me. Again, make sure you hold your stretches for 20 seconds post-workout to ensure our muscles regain their neutral length after all the contractions we have put them through. Hardly takes a minute or two, so it's quite helpful and also lets us know if there is any kind of discomfort might actually give you a lot of relief. If you feel any kind of extreme amount of discomfort that you're not able to even do the stretch, you can uh, regress to foam rolling. That would relieve some tension and then you can go back to stretching again. Finishing off with a two hand stretch, lat stretch, 20 seconds hold. Again, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video wherein we'll work on our legs. Thank you. Have a good evening.